The potash market has passed through a number of cycles in its long history. At the start of the 21st century, we experienced a boom market. This was driven by underinvestment in the 1990s and a period of strong demand. Prices increased tenfold to $1,000 per tonne. This upswing peaked during the global food and financial crisis of 2007 through 2009. The price boom led to a major expansion of supply. Initially, prices were resilient, averaging $500 per tonne from 2008 to 2013. However, the supply build-out and a demand response to high prices saw the market fall heavily to a little over $200 per tonne today. The excess capacity problem is expected to get worse before it gets better. About the time when Janssen could potentially come on stream, we expect that the market should be on an upswing once again, with the supply-demand balance tightening. Demand for potash is expected to grow by around 2 million tonnes per annum through the 2020s. So just two years of organic market growth could absorb all of Janssen's possible Stage 1 production. Beyond that, consistent growth in demand will require incremental supply to meet it. Low-cost brownfield expansion opportunities at Janssen could be in pole position to do so.